Hey everybody, welcome to my video about how to find your AirPods using the new Find My app in iOS 13. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the Find My AirPods option so you can use the Find My app in the future if you lose them. And I'm also going to show you an easy little trick to find them without the Find My app you can use in situations where you know they aren't too far away. This is an update to my Find My AirPods video I did a couple of years ago using the Find My iPhone app. The principles are pretty much the same, just some of the particulars have changed. So let's get to it. The first thing I'd like to share is the easiest way I know of to find the AirPods if they're out of the case and likely close by. In scenarios where you either fell asleep with them on and woke up with one missing, or you took off your shirt in the change room at the gym and they went flying out of your ears somewhere, open the music app on your iPhone or the device you were just using them with and play a song at high volume. Then you can just follow the sound of the music to hone in on their location and find them. I've used this method the most and found it to be really useful. But if this isn't an option, then the Find My app is your next best option. One important thing to note is that you'll need to have set up the Find My iPhone or Find My app with your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch that you're using your AirPods with for this feature to be enabled for you. The AirPods themselves do not have their own GPS chip and essentially piggyback off the location data from the connected iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Once you've enabled the Find My or Find My iPhone option, it will be automatically enabled for your AirPods the next time you use them with your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. So if your AirPods are lost, out of their case, and somewhere close by, you can use Find My iPhone or Find My app to find them again. If your AirPods are out of range of all of your devices and need to charge or are in the AirPod case, the Find My app can still be helpful by showing the time and location where they were last connected. To make sure the Find My app is set up and the Find Your AirPods option is enabled on your iPhone, iPad or iPod, running iOS 13 or newer, we'll first have to make sure Location Services is turned on. On your iPhone, run the Settings app, then scroll down and select Privacy. Then choose Location Services and turn on Location Services. Now to make sure the Find My app will work, Press the settings back button from the privacy menu at the top left. Scroll to the top and choose your name at the top of the main settings menu. Then scroll down and choose Find My. Then tap the Find My iPhone option. This will bring you to the Find My iPhone menu. I would recommend turning on all three options on this menu. Find My iPhone, Enable Offline Finding, and Send Last Location. This enables all of those options when trying to find your AirPods or even other Apple devices to connect via Bluetooth such as an Apple Watch. Now that the option is enabled, the next time you misplace or lose your AirPods, you can use the Find My service to help find your AirPods. There are a couple of ways to use this service. You can use either the Find My app on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, or log in from any computer and use iCloud.com. To use the Find My app on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, tap the Find My app on your device and choose the Devices tab in the middle at the bottom of the screen. This will bring up all the devices and Apple accessories that you set up with the Find My service under your Apple ID. Scroll through the list to find and select your AirPods. If they're not currently in use, this will show you their last known location on the map with full address information provided through GPS. You can get directions to the location or have the app send a signal to have them play a sound when they are in range. To use iCloud.com from any computer, open the web browser and go to iCloud.com. Log in with your Apple ID and choose Find iPhone. Click on the drop down list in the middle of the screen near the top, labeled All Devices and select your AirPods. This will bring up their location on the map and provide you with the option to make them play a sound when they are in range of any of your Apple devices and share the same Apple ID. Those are the best ways to find your lost or misplaced AirPods. If you can't find them using the music trick I mentioned first and can't find them using the Find My app, then the only option left is to start looking around with your eyes. Those are the only digital assistants to help you find your AirPods. Those are both a great help and it's awesome that Apple added the AirPods to the Find My service. It's one extra tool AirPods owners have that most other wireless headphones don't have. But still be careful and try not to lose them as it can be a pricey accident. If you do happen to lose one or even two of the three pieces, you can purchase a replacement directly from Apple. Currently they charge $69 US to replace each AirPod and $59 US or $79 US for the case depending on which case you choose, the regular one or the wireless charging case. If you're replacing the wireless charging case, I would recommend just buying a new one as it's the same price as going through the replacement program. If you've lost two pieces, such as both AirPods and not the case, then it's cheaper for you to go through the replacement program as a new set of AirPods costs either $159 US or $199 US, depending on whether you go with the wireless charging case or not. 
but hopefully you'll never have to replace them due to loss. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.